Okay, Crystal Palace versus Tottenham. Uh, Tottenham 1.67, draw 4.2, Crystal Palace 5.5, odds with Pinnacle. Um, obviously, Crystal Palace have been on a high after beating Liverpool 2-1. They now host Tottenham, but this is a must-win for Tottenham, four points below Chelsea. I think if Tottenham lose this match, I think they lose, lose their title chances. It is an absolute must-win. Um, but 1.67, I don't feel confident enough to play their win, but it's not bad. But Natalie, this is the team that I think you lay this kind of price with. This is kind of a similar price to what Arsenal's laying. Tottenham, though, I mean, they've won seven Premier League games in a row. You mm. mentioned it. They have to win. They're at home here. I, I still think this is a pretty decent price for – and I don't think we should get too down on Tottenham. I know, you know, I know they lost over the weekend, but – they played really well in the game. I mean, I don't think they were like totally dominated or anything. Uh, now they can focus. They need a win here, which they've been no stranger to winning lately. I think they get a result here, and I think the price is still pretty fair. It's getting a little low, but uh, still I think worthy uh, and where I would kind of look to bet if I'm going to lay this type of price, not with Arsenal. This is a team that I know I think can win. I'll take a shot with Spurs here. Yep. Listen, horses for courses, isn't it? The price, is, price can be right for one team and very right. poor for another. Exactly. Totally get that, yeah. All right, so you lied the Tottenham win. What about you, Alex? No, I'm going further. Minus one on Tottenham. I think that uh, they are coming after seven wins in a row in Premier League. They need the win. It's a must win for them. They need to maintain pressure on, uh, on Chelsea. And uh, like I said, I think that Crystal Palace, even though they have another attitude, uh, from the time that uh, Sam Allardyce took over and uh, is their manager. I think that uh, this will change, uh, despite also the 4-2 uh, 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 defeat um, in the FA Cup against uh, Chelsea. I think that uh, Tottenham will bounce back and uh, they will win the game in style. Because, after all, what uh, what they have left uh, from uh, from this season? Only, only Premier League. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I, this one is still a lean for me. I think I'm leaning on the over 2.5 goals, even though the last two head to heads ended 1 0. 1 0, I think the last, it was the reverse was 1 0 to Tottenham, and then the time before that was 1 0 uh, to Crystal Palace on the road. Um, yeah. I'm, ex I'm expecting goals, but the price is low. I'm, it's a skip for me this match. You kind of wonder, like, what Crystal Palace team will show up? Is it the team that, you know, got crushed against Southampton, or is it the team that, mm. you know, beat uh, Chelsea, you know? And I don't Liverpool? like those teams. I don't like those teams. I like the team, you know, the team that I know to show up, not that I'm banking on. Sometimes those are better, like, in-play ones. See who's showing up, watch right. the first five, ten minutes, and but then you, take the bet that you, you know, you originally thought. You mentioned, though, Natalie, I mean, this is really – you can't lose this game if you're Spurs. They have to. They have to win this. They I mean, have. Any, to. They have to win right. this one. Otherwise, the title is Chelsea's, in my yeah, opinion. Exactly. Exactly.